Good morning, everybody. Here we are, back out here on the beautiful, mighty Canal River. Look at that. Ain't that pretty out through there? Anyhow, here's what we're going to do today. As you can see, the water's a little bit up today, but what it came up, look at all this black sand it left. Look at that. Look how deep. Nice. And I'm going to show you what we're going to work. As good as that looks, I found something even better. Check this out, y'all. We got this bank. We got clay. We got black sand right on top of the clay. Look at that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to gather up some of this good looking stuff right here. Take it home. Clean all the clay out of it. And then we're going to run it to our little our little dream map hillbilly high banker set up and we'll see what comes of it so without any more further ado let's get to it now you don't want to be afraid to take some of that clay with you look at that right on the clay put it in the bucket and we'll keep on going that is some awesome looking stuff, y'all. Right up out of there. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna be excited to see what's in this. Y'all ain't gonna wanna miss this one, folks. Yum, 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 yum. Just wanna give y'all a good look at that. Look at that gold bearing layer of black sand right on top of that clay. Jason Rigby over at Flower Gold Wizards. Y'all ever come down south, you need to come holler at me. <laughs> Look how thick this layer is. That's a solid half inch thick. Freshly washed out. We gotta get some of that. <laughs> oh yeah. In she goes. This is more of that super easy gold to get, folks. And I'm gonna show y'all how. You just find you an area that's got some black sands. Go check out any riverbank. Even if you don't think it's there. Because I'm right here in West Virginia. A state with no active gold mines there's just not enough gold in this state to be productive but as you can tell from watching my videos there's more than enough for a recreational prospector this stuff looks good doesn't it anyhow I'll check back in with y'all show you what we got in the buckets before we head to the house. I'm going to take some time finish digging this up and I'll check back in. Adventure time prospecting out. Man, good stuff. <coughs> we gotta be safe. Safe out there, my friends. <laughs> Oh, stay lifted. Oh, Lordy, I'm telling y'all, this is probably some of the best black sand I've found so far out here. As far as the clay and where it's washing out and the thickness of it. I mean, look at the amounts of black sand. I mean, it's right on top of that clay. And any y'all that's been out in the field know this stuff's more often than not, it's going to have gold in it. And I know there's gold in this stuff. How? Because I found it. And I'm showing y'all how. You get to see up some of these black sands right here. First thing you want to do when you're looking for easy gold. I mean, this is ideal black sand. Right on top of that clay. But a fair warning. 
these buckets. That one's half full of clay and black sand, as you can see. So I'm gonna get two halfway filled up buckets. That way when we get home, we have one solid five gallon bucket. Because it's too heavy to carry one bucket full out of here. So I got Buster up in the two because I'm old and y'all cut me some slack. Anyhow, I'm gonna fill this one up, finish it up, and then I'll check back in and we'll head to the house and get her on. No. As you can see, I didn't even scratch the surface, y'all. Look at that. And yet I have two five, or I got a at least one solid five gallon bucket. As you can see depth of that one, and then that one. This one's right at half full. This one's a little bit over. So they give us just a just a fuzz worth fuzzington over a five gallon bucket of material. And we're gonna see what we can get out of one good solid bucket. Because after it's classified down and all the clays off of it, it'll probably just be, I don't know, we'll go see what it is. Let's go hunt back to the house and get some of this clay out of here. Wish me luck getting this stuff out of here. It's heavy. Well, y'all, I got all them buckets and two heavy-ass buckets in the car. Right now, I'm going to head down to the bank and see if I can't do a little bit of mudlarking. Or, well, I'm going to go mudlarking. I just don't know if I'm going to find anything good. But if I find anything good or cool, I'll check back in with you. Yeah. Hey, there's you a chunk of quartz. Look at all that rust. Rusty looking mineralization on. Oh, look how big that rascal is. Big as my hand. That's a chunk right there. Awesome. If I find anything else cool, I'll stack them up and show y'all real quick. Adventure time prospecting. You'll love it. I hope you do. Anyhow, we're the hottest thing hit YouTube since videos. Uh, well, I didn't find any really cool artifacts or nothing like that. Check out that clay layer. Y'all, that's a trip. Kind of a rock. I guess that looks like a rock to me. Anyways, check out these cool stuffs I found, these stones. A big old piece of quartz. About the size of a fist or a tater. Another one of them weird blue rocks. If y'all know what that might be, let me know, please, in the comments. This nice little piece of quartz, about, I don't know, about the size of a lemon, maybe a little bigger. Look at this guy. Got quartz seams all through it. It's just pretty where it's eroded and washed. That had to wash down this river from Virginia to the Carolinas. It just has to just had to but y'all let me know in the comments because I don't know this stuff looks almost a lot like what I see around Fancy Gap anyhow I'm going to get cleaned up packed up well cleaned up I'm going to wash my hands in this mud water and we'll get to the house and I'll show y'all how to get them clays out of that out of that, black, out of that material and then we'll get there running it find us some yellow gold <laughs> yellow gold <laughs> Yellow gold. I just want to take a quick second to thank each and every one of you. Even if you're not got a prescription to my channel, I just want to thank all y'all that's a watching. I appreciate it from the mostest bottom of my heart. I appreciate y'all tuning in to our little channel and we try to keep getting better and some more adventures. So I will not say nothing more about it, but I hope you like it enough for you. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment if you like this, or if you want to see me do some more rock hounding, or I don't know, whatever y'all want. This channel's for you guys. So. See y'all at the house. <laughs> right on. Hydroelectric power plant, or is it? Is it a secret government project? If they want the giant sluice box riffle so they can get all the yellow gold. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. If you think it's an electric plant, you're crazy. That's a giant sluice box so they can get all the gold. If there's any gold there, they're getting it. Uh. Here we are back at the house. It's Frankie Ball. Frankie Ball.
Oh. All right, y'all. Here we are. Here's bucket number whatever that one is. I think it's the first bucket. And this is bucket number B here. You can see how hard the water is. Even that black sand's kind of floating around. But what I do to like help break up these gummy clay balls is put just a little bit of alcohol down in there. Let me show you. I got some right here. Just some rubbing alcohol. And watch that mud jump around. Look at that. I'm telling you, that just eats them clay balls right up. You'll still have to rub them a little bit to break them down, but they will just fall apart. Just a little trick tip for you right there. See how easily it's just breaking down now? You can just rub it and it falls right apart. Anyhow, I'm going to show y'all how we clean this. and it's, it's not pretty or glamorous, but here we go. Now what you do, or what I do, is get your classifier this is a wee bitty one because we're really going after that black sand and we got us a five gallon bucket a slap full of water and here's what you got to do you take you a handful with that clay and glop in it and just set it right there and then you start working these clay balls till they just vanish and you get you another one now the clay, I don't break it all down at once. I'll let it, I'll run a few handfuls and let it kind of gather up. Now when I shoveled this stuff just straight, you never know, there might be something in here cool. If there is, I'll check back. If not, I ain't gonna bore y'all watching me classify that gum damn sand. So I'll check back in with y'all. Get number one is in there. And any cantankerous clay balls that I'm having trouble getting to there, I'm just dumping them in there and I'm going to give them some more vigorous, vigorous beatings or whatever. So we're going to beat that clay around so it, so it all breaks up and we get the clay out. There's bucket number two. I'll see back when it's all done. Frankie ball break. All right, y'all. We figured right. Look at there. That's pretty much all heavy black iron sands check that out look at there frankie there's gold in there ain't they all right just like we thought we got right at a five gallon bucket so i guess we need to get a sluice put together so let's go ahead and get on that And bingo, bingo, just like that, it's done. Heck yeah, let's get ready to get started. First thing you want to do if you got one of these little super tiny little mini cell mats, micros in it, you want to go over this rascal with a just a something you get at the dollar store, just like an old cheap dish brush. And you brush them air bubbles right on out in little pockets, and then she'll work like a dream. Since this stuff's so daggone heavy and so much black sands, I'm definitely going to take my time running this stuff. Look how heavy this stuff is. It just weighs very. It's just a mad amount of black sands. But, anyways, I'll keep cracking on. We're starting out. Got that full five gallon bucket. I'll check back in. All right, everybody. I'm about halfway through this bucket, and it's taken forever. Cause look at that. I mean, every scoop's just like running concentrates. Like, and this is just straight off. So I'm just having to feed it just real slow. I can still see the cells, so we're not overloading it. So everything's running good. Wish us luck. Water's getting really nasty looking. That's the only bad thing I'm about recirculating. After after a while, it looks like somebody climbed up there and took a big sh. I'm still going, guys. This I don't know. My back's wearing me out, and it's been a little over an hour trying to get through this stuff. This stuff is something else. Look at that. Shoo. 
Look at all that. Just black sands everywhere. This stuff is like running straight, like sluice concentrates. Anyhow, I'm going to keep chomping and I'll check back in when we're finished and show you all the, what's left after we get it unmudded and where you can see what's left. Anyways, we'll be back later. Alright y'all, this is all we're left with. That's probably a solid cup of just concentrated black sand and hopefully gold. <laughs> well, let's see how much we got out of one solid five gallon bucket of gold slash clay material right here in West Virginia. Alright, let's see, see how she's a running. Man, some heavy stuff. Alright y'all, we should have this weight down to about a tablespoon, a teaspoon or so. I'm not sure, but I think I see another line of gold. Let me see if I can move in. Yeah, I definitely see some gold. There's a little pile right there. Nice. Alright, let me turn this puppy off and we'll get it in a pan and see how she looks. All right, y'all, you can see we got her condensed down to about that, so let's see if we got anything in it. Let's fan it back here, fuzz. Holy cow. I don't know if y'all can see that. <laughs> That's flower gold, y'all. Look at that. Holy cow, and I ain't, I just first fanned it back. All right, guys, I'm going to put y'all down, and I got to see Tampest back, and then I'll show y'all what's in there. This is crazy, y'all gotta see this, check it out. I mean, there's what's left of our black sands, and I know they still get some gold in them, but <clears throat> I want y'all to check this out. Yeah, that's all friggin' gold <laughs> out of one five gallon bucket. Let me try to zoom in a little for you. Yep, that's all fine flower gold. You know what, I'm gonna try to get this in the sun for you guys. Let me put it back to where the zoom's not. Ah. Okay, much better. Let's try to go out in the sun. Frankie don't drink it. Hopefully it'll glimmer real good for you in the camera. Here you go, folks. Gold straight out of West Virginia. Done showed y'all how to find gold the easy way. Right out of Black Sands. Can't go wrong. This is West Virginia we're talking about here, guys. A state not known for gold. Never had any productive gold mines. Check out. We got plenty of flower gold. Keep a recreational prospector happy all right everybody once again i appreciate every single one of you that watches subscribes oh buddy while you're at be sure to like subscribe and share or at least subscribe and do that bell bone bell thing it's i guess it's here maybe or here it's somewhere i don't know i'm tired and i'm hot anyways we'll see y'all on the next adventure time prospecting I'm going to have me a little safety meeting, have a little fun, play with the ball with old Frankster. Hey, Frankie. And then I'm going to relax. Right on. I'll see you guys on the next Adventure Time Prospect. Peace, love, and prospecting. James out.